We are sailing empty pockets. Mike, Tiffany, and our dog Penny. We have a 2006 Hunter 38 sailboat, and we have decided that it's finally our turn to untie the lines and go live this dream that everybody else has been talking about. Yes, we are another sailing channel, but I can promise you we are a lot different than everyone else. If you would like to follow along on our journey, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to keep updated on the latest content. This is our new air conditioner. The old one uh, gave out on us, so thank God we were able to get a replacement and we should be able to get this in pretty easily. It's a drop in. Hey guys, we're gonna be installing an air conditioning unit on a boat. I bought a direct replacement from CTM. It's a, I think a knockoff of Dometic. The medics are about seven months on back order. We have a old 18,000 BTU. We're going to be replacing with a 16,000 BTU because they don't make the 18 anymore. So um, it should be fine. The newer stuff is all, you know, more energy efficient. We also bought a soft start. We're going to be installing with it so we could run it with the generator or on batteries and, or on, like the inverter. So. We're gonna uh, install this, and I'm gonna show you what happened to the, the, the old one. We actually woke up in a cloud of smoke, so let me show you, hold on. Here's our old air conditioner. And the run capacitor caught fire because the compressor is old, rusted. If you look down there, uh, can't really see right down there and there how rusty everything is but this is the marine air 18,000 BTU I mean I could change that one part and have it run and then have it serviced charging with the charge ports always get an AC with charge ports with your suction but we're just gonna replace the whole unit since we have another brand new unit we just put in in the rear aft cabin. We put a 6,000 BTU. So we might as well just go all new and spend the money, you know? So we're gonna remove this. It's very simple to do. What you gotta do is have one of these hose joint piece. So temporarily you could connect the discharge and the intake down there. These two hoses connect so you don't get water all over the place. Remove the wiring. You're gonna have your, your pump wire and then you're gonna have all your power wires here. And then you're gonna have your control cable right here, which goes to the wall. And then you just got all your duct work. This is the, it's gonna be fun to see what's under here, so. But this AC has no filter, they just use this mesh filter that goes behind the grate which sucks for dust and everything but this one's seen better days you know so let's get to it the vent tubes then down here right here you're going to take the mounts off there's one over here Probably one right down there. So 
So now we're taking the hose clamps off. And remember, buy one of these union joiners. We're gonna connect both hoses together in the meantime while this comes out. Because right now, water's gonna piss out. Cocktail. These clamps are no good. See how the screw came out? So these are garbage. So they don't tighten anymore. I have new clamps. You can keep them as a backup. We're gonna need one at least. Ready for the water. And, huh, okay. Put the five eighths in here. Close that, put a clamp on it. These clamps are shot. It's not even gonna tighten. So, let's take the bottom one out. So right here, I added my inner connector so the discharge connects with the, the intake so that is going to be separate water was pouring out water still going to be in the line so that's your best bet is just get a 5 8 uh, hose adapter i have every size because you never know on a boat if you're going to need a half inch 5 8 one inch for an emergency if you have to cut a hose so just keep probably one of every size on your boat so next we're going to be doing the electric and the electric should just unscrew. And now you're wor working with water and electric. So go unplug your boat so you have no power. You don't want to get electrocuted. And then everything's old in here, so you never know. So right now, I'm lift this off. And behind it is your control panel. So this is your other capacitor. These are other capacitors. This is your other run capacitor. So this is what melted. So right now we're just gonna disconnect all our power wires, but you gotta know what goes to what. So it says forward and forward, meaning the forward uh, air conditioner. So here's your eight pin connector. This is what's gonna to go to your control panel, which the new air conditioner actually retrofits, I think four or five different panels. So as long as you have an eight pin connector. So we're gonna take that out. So you got your fan, your water pump, and then the main power for the unit. And then you got all your greens would be your ground wires. And these are your other capacitors. We're just gonna leave everything in place because we're gonna uh, donate this air conditioner to another couple at the Marine. Come 
content. So this is really all we need. And this all goes to the air conditioner. Except this color. Disconnect this, this, disconnect this, this, that. The AC comes out. Okay, so, so everything's disconnected. You got your fan, you got your main power, and you got your control panel. This looks like a mess and oh, it's hard to do. But honestly, six wires here, a, a little phone jack, two hoses, and some duct tape. And you mount it in. Pretty simple, you got power from your main, you got your pump, water pump, that's it, that's all an air conditioning is. So all you do is buy a unit, wire it up, put some duct work, a couple hoses in and out. So I've done so many of these before. This is like, I can do it in my sleep. And then we just take the old unit out without hurting ourselves. I'm gonna have to have Tiffany help me here. Done cleaning everything is. all this there was a big gap right there so it should be like that clean it up and that goes to the main duct but see in here I can take this up and we'll clean it it's only four screws there So we took up the floor where it was sitting as a base and this is where it drains to it's just it goes into the bilge area so there's years of growth and god knows what so we're going to clean all the sawdust up that's all from the factory and uh we'll just clean this all up while we have it out so we got it all cleaned up Everything's looking nice and fresh. We cleaned up the intake grate. Yeah. This is all you need. Control panel, power, pump, water hose in and out. AC is simple. All right, this is the new CTM air conditioner. It's a 16,000 BTU, 120, 120 volt. They come in 220, so we are gonna see what it's about. I never heard of this. It was always like Robasto and the Medic, and, but this came up, and I ordered it from a website. Um, they had great deals on it. City Marine. It was about 2100. <laughs> The package seems legit. No Mickey Mouse. This is a 16,000 BTU. That's 18. Don't make it 18 anymore. So 
So side by side here, this is a smaller unit this way. It has the same exact rate. It has an external control box which can mount on the wall instead of this one, which saves a lot of space. Then down here, you got a plastic bin with drain holes here. On this one over here, as you can see, it's all metal and rusted. So the new ABS plastic and stainless steel here really stops the rust. And another thing, air filter, there's none. This one comes with a nice air filter like your house. So you can just take it out, rinse it out. And it also has handles here to carry, which is very nice. And the setup's the same. You got your intake, your, your discharge, and your intake. Everything's the same. It's a complete drop-in. And then you got your control box. It's, just, uh, it's actually a more rugged uh, environmental, better environments here. It's in plastic. This one's all metal, exposed to the salt air. This one's all sealed. So, so far, I'm loving this model. So this is the, the return, the air duct. And we got, it was actually never really good mounted good in the factory. It was like a space and they just taped it because they needed the angle. So we're gonna do it the right way and mount it, then take the AC. And I actually had to cut this hole bigger because it was only a five inch, I needed a six inch. And they actually cut it too far over from the factory. So there was this whole gap on the corner when it sat flush, they had so much tape on this side. So someone didn't know what they were doing. So. I moved the hole over. We'll have a little gap, but we'll put enough insulation tape and duct tape around it to seal it. And it's actually a big pipe that goes in. So it will actually be more secure than just a flat plate screwed in. So we're gonna get this all situated here, sealed up and taped, and then add the air conditioner. You could change the angle of the blower. So, this is what we're gonna do first. I had to remount this, re-duct taped it all. Now this is gonna turn in face down, unit's gonna go in and it's gonna sit flush, hopefully. I really hope so. So they put the zip tie on top of the screw and th then you couldn't turn it or rotate it, which pissed me off. And now you have to do the angle with that so the vents connect. But some Mickey Mouse shit. Then we fix it. Mount this box. Everything's wired up. So with the original air box, to the boat it was actually different from the connector here so i had to go get a six inch round to surface mount adapter and then insulation tape because condensation so you got to use insulation tape and then sealed everything and then also used dryer ducting uh tape for all around it to seal it so we had to reposition this blower down, which is just a set screw. Now everything's fitted in place. We checked for any air leaks. On high, we put a full blast. Everything's good. So now we're just going to mount with the secured L brackets they gave. Right, we're gonna connect it right down to the floor. So when you're sailing, it's not gonna move around and everything is connected. One hose was too short, so we're gonna have to run a new hose, which we got another 20 feet of. So we're gonna run all brand new hoses to the pump. But uh, otherwise that, everything's working great. And we're still have to install our 
our soft star, which is going to be the Micro Air's Easy Start. And that's gonna get mounted right here. And this gets wired to the compressor. And that's gonna help the surge when we're on generator or we're on solar, running it off batteries for a little bit. So we don't have that big jump and pop any breakers. So they sell this for all air conditioners. We're gonna put one on the bedroom AC. So um, there's really no real draw when the compressor kicks on. So it'll run at 10 amps nonstop running. When it surges, it's like probably like 50 amps. So yeah, we're gonna install this next, but we're gonna secure this all down. Otherwise that, it was great. Thanks for watching that. Action. Thanks for watching the install. That was our first one of hands-on with the camera. I'm usually doing things really fast just to get things done. So I will show a lot more how to's, but the air conditioner did work great. Um, citymarinestore.com. I'm not affiliated with them, but they have great deals and that's where I found the air conditioner. The medics were seven months out when I called all the stores and I even called the medic, so I couldn't get one. And to fit that space and not have to rewire the whole boat with a control panel, that's the best option is a CTM model. So that I believe is probably the best AC install I've done. Um, City Marine has everything laid out nicely, packaged nicely. So I would go with a CTM if you're looking for something reliable. We This is just an update. We've been using it for about three months already after that video was made. And it's been better than the 18,000 BTU. Um, it gets colder in here, the temperature stays more accurate. Um, just everything's well built on that So we will be doing more how to's on other Items like we have a hot water heater that took a crap. So you'll see a video on that and a bunch of other Installs that I do um, I'm also doing a water maker um, Our boats gonna have a water maker and that's a whole nother story. So um, that will be a whole how-to video. Also a big alternator. Um, there's a lot of projects we're gonna be coming out with a lot of videos. Um, some of my personal reviews are, and on the installs and how the product works. I'm not sponsored by anybody, but um, hopefully this gives you guys a good insight on what to install on your boat. And I feel our boat is well equipped to be off grid. Uh, we have it set up really well. I do this for a living. I have my own business and I install all kinds of energy products and uh, outfit boats. So I might may make it look simple, but um, if there's any questions you have, comment below and uh, answer any questions. Um, if you have any doubts on certain things on your boat and you want to upgrade it with something, a lot of good reviews out there online YouTube watch them I learn because I like to know every product on the market pros and cons of every one and then make my choice so think about what you're gonna do in depth and don't make you mouse your project because if you cheap out you're gonna have nothing but problems thanks for watching and see you soon